What is up, YouTube? Welcome in and welcome back. So today I'm going to take a look at something new. Uh, this is uh, James Gregory. I've uh, never heard of this guy before. Uh, it popped up on my YouTube feed, and the title looked very interesting. So I figured, well, let's check him out. He's a, he's a comedian. Uh, why tornadoes always hit trailer parks? I mean, there's actually a real reason why it always happens, because they're generally in open spaces where tornadoes will form. Um, but I'm sure there's some other explanation he may have. So anyway, uh, let's check this out. Is it just me, as does it seem like, tornadoes in the news more than they used to be? Yeah. I mean, every week there's a tornado somewhere. Of course, I'm from tornado country. I live in Georgia. And I know there's a lot of heartache. There's a lot of tragedy. We hate to see it on the news. But I got this theory I've come up with after a lifetime of... The stage looks like a tornado <laughs> went through it. Oh, yeah. Watching news coverage or tornadoes. I believe there's a conspiracy to make those of us who live in tornado country to look ignorant on TV. <laughs> Don't you find it odd that after thousands of tornadoes, thousands of destroyed homes over the years, they never can interview anybody that's been to the dentist? You have never seen on the evening news a tornado victim from a trailer park in a three-piece suit, a monogram shirt, going, yes, this was rather devastating. A tree fell on the Lexus, and there's quite a bit of rubble in our hot tub. I believe with all my heart that when a tornado hits, the news director at the local TV station, he tells his reporter, get out to the trailer park and interview a dumbass. <laughs> and try to find one who's married to a fat woman. And listen, have you noticed that the, the, everything's, complete, everything's destroyed except for the produce sign? <laughs> and the camera zooms in on that. Tomatoes for sale. <laughs> Spelled with an R. <laughs> 45 cents a pound or two pounds for a dollar. <laughs> We can't spell, and hell, we can't add either. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the couple they interview. The husband, the head of the household, he's always real sickly, anemic looking, real frail, like 112 pounds, 108 without the belt buckle. <laughs> He got himself <laughs> wearing a John Deere cap. <laughs> got that out of the way. <laughs> He's got a tattoo on a wooden arm. <laughs> <It's so funny. laughs> he saw a sign at the mall tattooing while you wait. <laughs> he said, Hell, I ain't got to wait. <laughs> Got a tire gauge in his pocket. That's in case the trailer don't seem level. <laughs> and he's wearing a key ring with two pounds of keys. What the hell is that all about? There's only three doors in this man's life. Truck, trailer, and tool shed. Now there he says next to his wife. His wife, God bless her, weighs 400. <laughs> 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 
one, one of those tight, tight <laughs> polyester pants. You know, little irrigation ditches in that. Oh. Why, why do they wear that? Don't they know how that looks? I know they're fat, but hell, they're not blind. How, how can a 400 pound woman put on tight polyester pants, then look in a mirror and go, all right. And she's always wearing <laughs> I just thought of this, I'm gonna throw it in. <laughs> she's always wearing flip-flops. Because <laughs> she thinks her feet are her best feature. <laughs> And sadly, she's right about that. <laughs> ah. And she's always, always wearing a beeper. Let me tell you all about fat people and beepers. They should wear the old kind of beeper, the one that made a noise. They got these modern high tech ones now, they don't make a noise, they simply vibrate. Well, trust me on this. If you weigh 400 pounds, you're missing calls. <laughs> You'll feel something, you just think you sweat. You know? <laughs> hey, what does the guy always say about the tornado? I thought it was a freight train. There's not a railroad track within a hundred miles. <laughs> but this rocket scientist, <laughs> thinks the locomotive just made a left into his driveway. <laughs> Folks, look, I am, I am not the smartest guy in the world. But I can tell you this, if I was sitting in my den at home and just thought, just thought, that there's a train <laughs> somewhere near my mailbox, <laughs> My fat ass would be out of that. <laughs> and by the way, let me give you a little tip too. You remember a few years ago when the tornado went downtown Nashville, Tennessee? It went right downtown. Tornadoes just don't go downtown. And to make sure that never happens where you live, here's what you need to do. On the outskirts of your city, put up a decoy trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like cheese in a trailer. <laughs> This guy's pretty funny. Kind of reminds me a little bit of what the, the guy used to be years ago was at the cable guy, right? kind of in that kind of same vein. Um, but um, yeah, the whole time he's talking about that, I was thinking of uh, kind of how, you know, they have a cable television and, and trying to fill up, you know, space and, and time and, you know, and everything runs 24-7. You know, that's part of the reason why news outlets aren't really news outlets anymore. They're opinion outlets, and they've got to have everybody's opinion and, and you know, in-depth stories and stuff rather than just the news. The same thing with uh, the weather now. It's like, you know, again, I don't watch cable television. I used to all the time. And I remember even before I stopped watching, like, the cable, like, the weather channel was, like, you know, it's 24 seven. How do you, you gotta, you know, and originally the weather channel would just have like radar maps and stuff when they were, didn't have a show or something, but they started filling that up with all kinds of weird stuff. They probably have weather dramas now I'm guessing, um, or stuff, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, 
It is kind of funny. It reminds me of the hurricanes when there's hurricanes and they've got the guy standing out there in the hurricane, <laughs> you know, news guy and the stuff's blowing. I'm just waiting for the first news guy to get killed on camera in the middle of a broadcast uh, in a hurricane. But uh, yeah, that's, um, you know, he nailed it. He knows it. <laughs> He said he's from tornado country, so he knows exactly what he's talking about. So anyway, it's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And if you found this interesting, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye.